back. Now, in this segment, our focus is on having a sit down with Teddy Kinyanju, the brains behind this. So this one is the one that again, I showed you first, is a really sort of traditional one that most people have seen, probably most people have used. Because of this ceramic liner, yeah. it means the heat is not being wasted out to the sides, and it's focusing the heat to the bottom of the sufria. From these ones, we found so many people were asking about for roasting Yamachoma. So we've started now making these ones that are square, and it comes with a grill on the top. And this is called a hibachi style, so these come in many sizes from very small ones, so they've actually had recently. That's interesting, there's quite a few restaurants, mm -hmm. or you know how people do karoga? Yeah. This is now taking it to the next level. So you do like mushkaki karoga, so each you know customer gets yeah. their own little jiko, and you get to cook on skewers the way you like your own food. Um, from these ones though, we found that we're actually working more these days mm -hmm. with larger businesses and people who are using charcoal in a commercial setting yes. and firewood. So then we've designed types like these that are multiple cookers. This one is very interesting, it's a specific one for a lady who's bought it for a children's home. Mm -hmm. um, the front chico is actually for firewood. Mm -hmm. So you can put your small firewood through there, even maize cobs yeah. actually work very well in this one. The back two are for charcoal. And you have two different sizes, the large for large sufrias, small for small sufrias. Yeah. In the middle, you have this compartment, which is a warming cupboard. So the heat from both of these sides keep your food warm in the middle. So maybe someone's late coming back or something, they don't have to have a cold dinner. And then I've loved the, the way it's packaged because one thing about the kit, it's, I mean, it's friendly for kids. Yes, it's high up, you know, this is in the kitchen, yeah. uh, not on the ground sort of thing. And it's especially friendly for the cook, because of course you know you're back, you're not bending over all the way down to the ground. Yeah. You can actually just stand and cook like this, which is very nice. So multiple, um, so multiple or different uh, sizes? For yeah, different, different fuel uses, because in some areas, you know, they'll actually like to use firewood mm -hmm. for certain types of things, certain types of cooking, but charcoal for other types of cooking. So maybe you're just making a tea and chapati, you'd rather use maca. Mm -hmm. If you're cooking gilari for four hours, you might just use firewood, because it's a bit cheaper if you can just collect. Um, these type we also make in all types of configurations. If you want three, if you want four, mm -hmm. if you want ten, you know, very big restaurants. So depending on your order. Yeah, depending on your order and your customers. Um, what we've been developing mostly though, and this has now become our sort of flagship product of all of the different Jikos, is going to be these charcoal baking ovens. And this one will be really easier to look at. So, how these ones work, they're very, very simple. It's just two small of the clay liners. Again, this is where you put the charcoal so the heat isn't wasted to the sides. And then you control the heat with a small door. So depending how much airflow you're letting into the fire. So when you're baking and you need to know that your temperature is 180 or whatever it is, you control the heat with that small door. Also the amount of charcoal. So what's really nice with these ones is you just fill it up with all of your baking pans, whether you're making pizza, yeah. you might be making wedding cakes, or even roasting meat, baking potatoes. And how it works is the chimney is actually at the very bottom. So that means the heat has to go up, down, and around. So you get this convection effect, which makes your food cook evenly and faster than the traditional sort of like gas or electric oven. And how, how, how long will, this, will, will it take to make? Kind of uh, so making one of these jikos we do about two or three a day um, uh, and then if we got bigger orders we can also scale up of course. Um, these sort of larger sizes we found we work mostly business to business so imagine if you maybe run a bakery you do wedding cakes if the power goes out and you have a wedding tomorrow what do you do you know. Um, a lot of the safari camps, lodges, yeah. these guys you know who are off grid they'll buy all of these ones and these larger ones like this one, you know, you can fit 40 yeah. loaves of bread, you can cook even three goats, so catering companies really prefer these, because when you're setting up for your catering event, you just take the jiko, have everything cooking while you're doing the tables. Yeah. So we find for a lot of different businesses, these not only are saving them energy, but it does save the chefs a lot of time and prep. Because once you put everything in and shut the doors, you're not turning your meat, you're not moving things around, it's, you just shut it and wait. So most businesses with markets. Yes, so yeah, so that's been a very big side of our business, has been business to business with these larger type of ovens. Okay. Um, along with the ovens though, we've also made the open Yamachoma jikos. I'll show you this one out here. Uh, the more traditional type. So these ones are a very interesting design. 
that has these beads shaped. Yeah, it has a different grill. And the benefit with this type of grill is that when you're roasting, you know, usually when you're cooking with uh, very fatty nama pork or something, or yeah. kondo, a lot of the fat falls into the fire and starts bothering you, and all the flames are coming and smoke. So with this one, the fat actually goes down these V channels and then drains off to the side. And you control how hot the temperature is from this door. So when you're lighting or you need it very high temperature, and it has a folding table on the side. These go up and down, so depending on how much you're cooking. And you can get them from a single burner all the way up to an eight burner for very large businesses. So places like Chaka Ranch has a bunch of these they roast all their with. I'm not saying this. Yeah, this makes such a big difference when you're roasting for just, you know, not having all that smoke coming in the face. And, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so those ones are still the same. We also have make jikos for kids, I understand? Yes, yeah, and we also make uh, tiny jikos as well for kids and also the child inside of grown-ups. And so <laughs> you can see these ones, they're very, very fun. So it's a mini Kenya ceramic jiko, comes in a little box, yeah. and everything works. It's a functional unit. You can cook, you know, hot dogs or maybe keep your tea warm at work on the top of it. Um, my mom actually uses this to teach kids oh. how to cook and you know you get some small skewers but two tiny bits of charcoal uh, and they're a very fun interactive thing because not only do they work um, they're also very pretty because you know maybe you just love cooking and you think about jikos you can use these for incense you can use them for coins on your desk a paperweight nice gift for someone okay, sure. and then let's talk about the soap now Yes, and so through, of course, feedback from so many different cooks using all our jikos for all types of things, one of the things a lot of people have really liked is the idea of making charcoal soap. Yes. So we're making this with a really, really good company that's called Grounded mm -hmm. Kenya. They make all types of eco-friendly soap, from laundry detergents to hand washing soap. Mm -hmm. So we asked them, can we commission them to make us a batch of charcoal soap? And so the charcoal soap, it's a special mix of soap that's very good for cutting grease. Mm -hmm. And then the small pieces of charcoal inside of it add a natural grit, mm -hmm. which helps for cleaning oh, off yeah. all of that, you know, grease and mafuta yeah. from jikos. And so this is really, really nice to make sure your jiko stays and clean and lasts longer. Now I understand the aspect where you said zero waste. Mm -hmm. To you, this, you recycle everything. Everything, yes, yeah. And uh, we've even made these, these are very handy. It's, uh, charcoal fire starters ah. so you put a little bit of newspaper under here with charcoal on the top and because it acts as a chimney and has this natural draw so it makes lighting the fire very easy you can also use fire starters some people buy them so there's a lot of different accessories that go along with all of our jikos um, oven thermometers for very serious bakers yeah. and stuff um, all the way down to these very nice heat proof gloves so you know because no one wants to have to be touching yeah. hot pans and stuff Mm. It's so nice. no, 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 no. Okay, that's it for the jikos? Yes, yeah, and then for the jikos, for the ovens, the final thing we've really been promoting are for small business bakeries. Mm -hmm. We're working right now with uh, Mari Baking Center, and what she has done is written this very good book on how to start a business bakery in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So it's everything you need from your projected sales to your monthly profit and loss projections. This has been written by Maureen Kamari. She runs the Samari Baking Center where they teach students from all over Kenya how to bake using our jikos. And so not only the recipe side of it, but the business side of it, we've seen is really, really key for the success in the small bakeries. And by using things like ovens that save you so much money on your energy costs, um, it really has worked. And she's done you know, more than 80 people all over Kenya. What of this? So this small one, this is actually the charcoal making kiln. Wow. So this is for making your own charcoal at home. And I'll follow up and I'll show you this outside. Oh. So the idea of this one is instead of cutting a whole tree down, you only prune the small branches, or you can even use maize cobs or coconuts, anything hard in wood, you can turn into charcoal for cooking in your jiko. And that way you don't have to buy charcoal. From energy saving and environmental environment is something that should be and um, very it's something that in come some few years to come to get at it. You know? Mm. Some of the things we're talking about right now will not be but having people like you making a difference will be nice. So thank you very thank much. You very much. You're doing a great job and uh, we appreciate it. Good. Yeah, thank you.
Well, that's all we had for you in today's episode. Tune in next week for another exciting episode. As I've always told